Welcome back to the channel. So, this is a second take because I've just recorded the whole video. I had the camera behind me and uh, I was only recording about two thirds of what I was looking at. So, we're testing the absolute again. We're going to use a bit of moonlight. Now I'm in my, I'm outside the main house. Out here the internet is um, the main house. I make it sound like I'm so well off. I'm in a shed basically that's got a sofa on it. But down the bottom of the garden. So down here I get 60 megabits from my router in the house. I've got a mesh network. So my PC indoors is connected 5 gigahertz wirelessly to the router. I'm out here connecting wirelessly 5 gigahertz back to the house. So I think I'll... Um, First things first, we'll just do this. Confirm. We'll try. Speed test. Just see what sort of speed we're getting out here. Um, fluctuates a bit. It's running quite well just now. We're up to about just under 70 megabytes. Megabits, sorry. So, as you can see, not got a super fast connection here. Now, what we're going to be doing, we're going to use Moonlight. And we're going to be connecting. And the video resolution is going to be full 1080p. And the PC indoors runs at about 1080p. And we're currently running, I'll show you the settings we're running. So this is more relevant to the PC to be honest, but we're running 1080p, we're running FSR, and we're running a high preset. Now this is on a an RX 5500 XT, so so an 8 gig card, it's okay. Um, the only issue I've spotted really so far, it's not... You know, I did mention about the little bit of light bleed coming from the X button in the corner there. The A button is a little bit stickier in my unit. So the rest of the buttons feel fantastic, but this one occasionally sticks down. Now, I don't know if it's because I can't, I'm a bit of a button masher, so I tend to push down and then up a little bit. And it tends to catch, I don't know if it's maybe like a little rough surface underneath. Now, hopefully it'll just kind of debur itself and sort itself out, but I just want to show you some gameplay today, really. So, um, yeah. I've got the volume turned down a bit now, so I'll just turn the volume up. Now, what I will say is, the volume on this thing is, is immense when you're, like, loading up some games. There, there does appear to be some little quirks of the sound. I'm not really sure what's going on. Something I need to look into. It's like almost like some games when you load them up, they're like super loud and some of them are quite quiet. So, something I need to look at. It might just be my setup more than anything else. Now, as you can see, this looks absolutely amazing. There's no artifacting. There's no hitching or delays. If there is any delays, they're down to my graphics card. Now, I've got a FPS counter at the top here. And as you can see, this looks really nice. Now, if I played this on my Steam Deck 800p, I wouldn't be getting 60 FPS for a start. And it also wouldn't be high settings. It wouldn't be looking this amazing. Now, obviously, I'm not playing this natively. This is this is a streamed footage. You know, I'm playing remotely. But this is great, you know. I'm really impressed with this so far. It's like a busy area down here, look. I seem to knock a few people on the bottom there. Sorry about that, people. But hey, how, do, how nice does this look? And I'm not noticing any kind of latency. Now, the only peculiarity I've spotted so far was earlier on today, my son was testing Forza, as we know. And uh, if you don't watch that short, why don't you? Um, and he noticed, well, at one point, he's like, oh, I can't reverse my car. So I had a bit of a look, and I had, a, had to have a look at the gamepad tester. And it turns out the, the right analog stick, not the stick, sorry, the right trigger, had just stopped responding. It was really weird. And um, it appeared to just be on the whole unit itself. So I was like, oh, I hope that's not a failure. So I gave it a quick restart, and um, it went away. So it seemed to be some sort of little software glitch. So uh, there has been a couple of little glitches that I've spotted so far. None of them appear to be insurmountable, so I'm going to report them to the lovely people at Absolute. See what they can do. Maybe just a simple update. Maybe it's just a peculiarity of my unit. 
But um, yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? So I think we'll quit this game just now. Oops, click the wrong button there. So we'll come out of the game. Uh, which one is it, that one? That's the map one, this one for menu, is it? There we go. Don't we quit. Now one peculiarity I've noticed of Sunshine and Moonlight is you can't get the, the control pad working when you're in big picture mode. You can use the screen as a, as a mouse. Oops, I'm actually quite out there. You can use the screen as a mouse. You move around. Um, now I noticed this was this is not an issue just with the one the absolute. This is a problem I noticed on my Steam Deck as well. Now I was able to mount the um, touch pads as additional controls just for when it was in big picture mode. The controls work fine as you can see when you actually load the game up, but when you're looking in the library and stuff, it's like it's really tricky to find what you want to click on. Now, what will I try now? I'll try BMNG. This was something I tried earlier, but didn't capture much footage, so we'll try again. Such a vibrant screen. I'm sitting at a bit of a funny angle here to see this, so yeah, my, my driving will be even worse than normal. Um, criticisms of the unit so far? Now, while these... Well, these speakers, front firing speakers, are really good. They're really loud. The way I hold the Absolute, I tend to put my hands over a bit, you know, the sort of meat of my thumb covers them over and they become very, very muffled. So I don't think there's much can be done about that. It's the way I hold it. But that's kind of how I hold all my handhelds and it's not really an issue in some of them. Downward firing speakers might have been better for me. They might be a bit different for other people. Speakers at the top would always be my preferred, or even somewhere in here. may not look as pretty, but you'll certainly get the sound out better. But, that's not such a big issue. Generally speaking, I would have your phones on. So, this won't be such an issue for me, but I do find I'm, I'm really covering the, the left speaker grill quite a lot. So, we'll just do this one rate, this one scenario in BeamNG. Now, I've had people asking me, is BeamNG playable on the Steam Deck? And it's playable on the Steam Deck, but it's not going to be a fantastic experience. It's better than nothing. Um, and when your car pops in at the start, you know, you've got the kind of wireframe of the car almost, and it takes a long time to load. This, this has been a game changer. I mean, I've never really played BeamNG much because, you know, it's a keyboard and mouse game. You need to have the controls. But I'm more of a joystick gamer, really. But um, it, works, it works pretty well on this. Now, this is a game a lot on screen. So, if you're going to get any artifact in because you've got a poor internet connection, this is when you're going to see it, I think. There's a lot of popping down the road a bit when you get trees popping in, but I have to say, latency-wise, it feels pretty responsive. If there's any issues here, they're down, they're down the way I play with my inability to read corners and break properly. So, And I am kind of sitting at a bit of a strange angle just now just to capture this footage. I was much more comfortable earlier, but um, the camera was only picking up about a quarter of the the image and more of my shoulder than anything else. So we'll um, read on the footage. Oh, would you look at this? Crashed. <laughs> yeah, I think we failed that one, haven't we? Okay, we will try one time. As you can see though, you know, BeamNG on the Steam Deck, 800p, well it's not even 800p, you're running like much lower, 540p I think it is or something, just to get the the frame rate up above 30, a stable 30, and even then it still loads pretty slow. I mean, I was still blown away how the fact I was able to get it running after running Cryobite um, utilities, but just remote playing, this is brilliant. Now, I did try remote playing on the... Um, Steam Deck, it was pretty good, but again, you're you're then limiting to yourself to 800p, even if your input is a higher resolution. And I really am noticing the fact that this is a over, oh, over 100% sRGB. <laughs> I'm dragging my door along here. I'm never going to catch the bad guy, are we? I'll never be an American cop. Oh, an American cop. Okay, as you can see, runs pretty well in BeamNG. I'm not going to insist on <laughs> finishing a race this time so we'll just come out here just now i want to show you um just teenage mutant ninja turtles shredder's revenge 
This runs beautifully. This is downloaded, you've seen it for a second, the Netflix logo. So I was asked to test if the um, Netflix games would run, and they absolutely do. So logged into Netflix, and that was a different issue because the, the device doesn't support Netflix properly yet, so you can't go in the App Store and download it. Comes up with an error message saying it's not supported. But you can sideload it, no problem, so I did that. Um, runs fine. Sideloaded the latest version, and it runs fine. Went into games, picked uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it fires up the App Store, and away you go. And I have to say, again, it plays well. I've not lost any kind of latency. I wouldn't say this is much of a beef, beefy game, but it just looks great, though, in the um, 103% sRGB coverage. And all the buttons are as you expect. I'm not going to play all the way through this either, through a whole level. Just going to play a couple of minutes. bit again. You'll see I'm oh that's episode 3. I am covering the speaker. You cover the speaker so the sound's gone. But um, yeah other than that it's to be expected really cover the speaker girls the sound's not going to get out. Possibly pick the I picked the wrong level here to showcase my inability the quality button masher. Oops. Know what you want to do, is it? And I think you've seen enough here to see that this game runs pretty well, so we'll, we will just quit out here now. And I want to show you just a tiny bit of Netflix. But a handful of visionaries use them. That's a little bit of high score. Just a few seconds. As you can see, lovely, lovely colour representations in here. Go back to start a bit more, I think, maybe. We were pioneering a new medium. We're taking the TV, which has been a traditionally passive medium, and turning it into an active medium. That's a huge thing to do. It was thrilling. Good show worth watching, by the way. Now, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please like, share and subscribe. I'm really pushing for more subscriptions over the next few weeks. Now... If you're interested in Absolute, I have got loads more content coming. Loads more content coming. So, if you're interested, follow the channel. 
please subscribe. And you've got 10 days left until the end of the Kickstarter if you want to get yourself a real bargain. What I will say is, if this is similar to the final product, you're going to enjoy it. Like I say, a couple little quirks, I'm going to feed them back to Absolute, hopefully they can iron them out before they go live. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.